and you're watching ACBriety.tv. Can you see me? Can you see me? Yes. I can't see you. Oh, there we go. I can kind of see you all. <laughs> and I can definitely see you. Eye health is very important, is it not? It really is very important. I guess health overall is actually pretty important. Oh, for sure. How do you feel about doctors? I get a little nervous when I see them, for sure. Um, but I would say that they definitely help us a lot. That is true. A lot of people get mad at doctors based on, let's say, the billing problems, getting oh, yeah. double charged and that, but then you have to realize that's not the doctors doing that, that's the... It's like the secretary and the insurance and stuff. The doctors are just trying to help you, you know. And I have to say, I've seen secretaries on their phone while they're allegedly doing their paperwork. I can yeah. see how mistakes happen. Yes, I was a secretary for a chiropractor and I can assure you, I was on my phone a lot. And I didn't make any mistakes because I didn't have to do any billing or anything, but I would just, if there's nothing to do, I mean, read a book, answer the phone when your friend calls, like, what are you gonna do, you know? Don't blame secretaries. <laughs> You're an honest woman and that's very admirable. <laughs> now, I never thought the club would say this before, but we're gonna try something new. We're gonna have a health segment on the show. Okay. No, we're not gonna play doctor and nurse over here, <laughs> but I do know a nurse. You know, if you've been watching AC Variety for a while, I meet all these people out in your world and I pull them on in. <laughs> I decided to try something new, and you may remember Nikki from my birthday who helped host. She just graduated from nursing school. That's awesome. She's like, the Clem, I would love to do a health segment. I was like, oh, really? She's like, yes. You know kids are going back to school, and eyes are very important. So, uh, yes. So I, I know the Clem likes having his eyes. I'm pretty sure Katie does as well. I do. So let's head over to Nurse Nikki and discover about eye health. Hey there Clementines! So I am with you guys today to learn about eye health and safety. If you did not know, August is actually Children's Eye Health and Safety Month. Pretty cool, huh? Now as we're approaching school time, I think this stuff will interest you. And if you did not know, today we're filming on a Wednesday, and Wednesday is Random Fact Day. So I brought some eye facts for you all. The average blink lasts one tenth of a second. You blink approximately 12 times a minute. 80% of vision problems worldwide are avoidable and curable. Another interesting one is eyes are the second most complex organ right after the brain. So we're gonna move right along and we're gonna mainly talk about eye health for babies, children, and teenagers. They need a little bit more different care than we as adults do. So our babies and small kids, they can develop something called amblyopia, which is also known as lazy eye. But this can be, fortunately it can be treated in babies and young children, but if we let it go on too long, it's irreversible. So if you have any like suspicions of your kid where the eyes are kind of just staying to one way or the other, contact your pediatrician. At birth, infants are actually super sensitive to light. So if you've ever noticed on your baby, their pupils are teeny, teeny, tiny. And there's a purpose for that because it doesn't let all the light in like it does for us adults. I don't know if you've ever taken a flashlight to your eyeball and you see it constricts and then when you take it away, it gets bigger. Babies don't really have that muscle yet, so it just stays teeny tiny. Um, once they get to about two to four months old, the baby actually has arm and eye coordination, and they're actually able to bat away objects that are pretty close to them, but yet they can't see far away. So if you're across the room, don't be sad that your baby doesn't recognize you, you just need to get a little bit closer. Um, the eyes can actually work together to focus and track an object that's right in front of them is pretty interesting. Um, once they get to about five to eight months, their depth perception comes in, so now they're seeing the world and actually the three-dimensional that we see it. Um, and their color actually improves, so they can actually see color vision now. Once our babies move on to nine to 12 months, they can actually judge distance pretty well. So now once you're walking into the room, your baby's gonna smile and be happy to see you. Um, we want to take some steps to ensure that our kids are having the proper vision development. 
So you're gonna wanna watch for any signs of vision problems that you notice. Um, and this can include inward or outward turning eyes, which could be um, that lazy eye that we talked about earlier. Um, you wanna take your infant to get regular eye screenings to catch any problems that we have early so we can fix them early. Um, talk with your pediatrician to find out any age appropriate activities that you can actually do with your kids to help them develop their vision. Um, some things that we can see in our kids in about school age and preschool is myopia, which is nearsightedness, hyperopia, which is farsightedness, and astigmatism, which is just a little bit of a distorted vision. Their eyes are actually like a little football shape when they're supposed to be perfectly round. All of it can be corrected with lenses and um, different exercises that they can do, so follow up with your pediatrician with that. Um, now the main thing that we want to do is prevent any injuries. Any unnecessary things that come in contact with our kids' eyes, we can protect that. Um, they want to do sports, they want to do recreational things, they want to do crafts, and they want to do home projects, but we need to think eye safety. It's super crazy to think about, but even a tiny piece of glitter can harm your child's vision. It can actually scratch their cornea, but thankfully eyes are actually super fast in healing and it takes about 48 hours to heal a cornea scratch. But let's avoid it all together, right? So we can avoid this with proper safety glasses. So if your child is participating in baseball, even basketball, working with glitter, proper, proper safety equipment can go a long way. Um, it's actually more than 90% of all eye injuries can be prevented throughout use of suitable protective wear. Um, you want to secure all your chemicals up in high cabinets out of reach or at least have some locks on those because once those little guys get moving, you don't know what they can get into. Um, you want to teach some safety techniques of your kids, especially with sharp, sharp objects. Um, we've all been told not to run with scissors. That's the obvious one. Pencils are dangerous and even a rubber band can harm their eyes. Another interesting fact is every 13 minutes, an ER treatment is caused by sports eye injuries and one in three of them involve children. Funny enough, we think about the sun, we lather ourselves up in SPF, and we're good to go. Not quite. You can actually get sunburned right on your eyes. As crazy as that is to think about, if you're in the sun long enough and you're exposed to the UVA and the UVB that's in the sun, you can actually get sunburned. So we can go to protect this by wearing proper sunglasses that filter out the UV rays. So I thank you for coming along and learning about your eye health and I'll see you guys next time.